Hi everyone, my name is Michael Asante from the International Students Office and Ambassador. Today we have an interesting interview with the Director of the Course of Information Engineering at the University of Pisa, who shares insightful information that you don't want to miss. Stay tuned and watch. Okay, so thank you, Professor, uh, for the opportunity today to have this interview with you to basically understand about the course of the Information Engineering Department. So um, can you please tell us about um, why we should choose UNIP to study any of the disciplines in the Information Engineering Department? Okay, uh, PISA, uh, together with uh, its university, is uh, the biggest uh, ICT uh, district in Italy. So we have a long tradition since the 1950s uh, in studying computer science and computer engineering. And nowadays uh, we have uh, three universities and uh, CNR institutes uh, that perform uh, interesting, uh, very advanced research on uh, computer science and computer engineering. I think this is a good reason. Another reason is that uh, the, seat, the town of Pisa is very pleasant to live. Yeah. Uh, it is, it's quite a small uh, city. We call it uh, uh, 15 minutes uh, cities because you can move almost everywhere to get what you need from study to um, market and beer. Uh, walking uh, 15 minutes and especially if you want a bicycle, you can be even <laughs> even quicker and okay. faster. So, uh, by the way, it's it's a very nice place to stay, and uh, it's very interesting because uh, it's a long tradition. Okay. okay. Thank you, Professor. So, please, can you tell us about the available courses um, for the masters in English that people can pursue? Okay, there are many uh, English masters at the University of Pisa, but now we are talking about uh, two uh, masters degree in computer engineering. Uh, the first one uh, is called computer engineering and the second one is called artificial intelligence and data engineering. They, they are two different view of the computer engineering uh, discipline. Okay. Professor, what are the academic requirements for students to study either for the artificial intelligence or the computer engineering? Okay, in general, for the both masters, uh, you need to have a background in uh, computer science or computer engineering. Yeah. Okay. But uh, we also, we are very flexible okay. and we admit also students coming from other disciplines. For example, uh, we have students from math, mathematics, okay from physics, okay. from uh, the other uh, engineering disciplines okay. like uh, electronics, uh, telecommunication, okay. or automation, uh, and, and, and so on, and so on, so on. Okay. Um, the idea is that uh, we, of course, uh, require a core of um, knowledge okay. in computer engineering, okay. but uh, in case the students does not uh, comply to all the requirements, we can offer free courses okay. um, that help the students to complete uh, okay. his, uh, his or her deficiency okay. when needed. Um, the first master's, the one in computer injury, actually is, is more strict in the sense that we require more knowledge okay. in computer engineering. Okay. The second one, one in artificial intelligence is broader. Uh, and we do have uh, a lot of students from mathematics, from physics, from okay. economics, and so on. Okay, so Professor, my next question would be the interview processes. What are the expected, or what, what are your expectations from um, students who, who will be an ideal candidate for this course? Okay, first, uh, the first question during an interview is about motivation. Uh, we want to talk uh, uh, with, the, with the students in order to understand whether uh, she chose or he chose the PISA uh, as the, okay. for, for study. And also, of course, we, we, we ask about uh, their background. Okay. Um, we do not consider uh, too much uh, um, the professional experience okay. because we think that uh, having uh, uh, motivated students 
uh, even young students is, is good for, for us and for, for them, of course. Right. But of course, we also take in consideration uh, some uh, uh, professional activities That's that right. some students may have. During the interview, we basically uh, ask uh, questions uh, about uh, simple and basic math. Okay. Uh, simple and basic physics, okay. because as I told before, uh, we are engineers. Okay. Uh, so this is the basic knowledge we have to, 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 to we acquire. And then we again make some basic questions about uh, computer science, for okay. example, about the architecture of a computer, okay. uh, about uh, programming, okay. about uh, operating systems, about okay. uh, computer networks. Okay. Usually we, we made this question because we know that this constitutes the common knowledge uh, okay. from bachelors of yeah. different provenance. Okay, thank you very much. In fact, this is very insightful for us to know about the requirements from, from the interview. If a student is not too good with speaking the language of like the Italians, are there any prospects of the person finding a job within Italy or within the European market? Usually not. Okay. Uh, first, uh, all our uh, courses are both in English. Okay. So there is no problem uh, for uh, attending lesson lectures here. Okay. Um, the second point is uh, that uh, in the two years needed to get the degree, uh, students have the opportunities to learn a little bit, okay. learn a little bit of, of Italian. But, uh, the second and more interesting point is that uh, um, advanced uh, technology companies okay. that hire our graduates uh, does not require, in general, uh, okay. the knowledge of Italian. Okay. Like English is, is a common language, uh, even okay. uh, in professional, professional uh, life. Okay. Okay. Uh, another point is that um, today, with the smart working, it's possible for students living here or everywhere, okay. as you know, yes. to, to work for any conference all over the world. Okay. This makes even easier yes. uh, the problem of the, of the language, language. Yes. Okay, so Professor, what are some of the uh, key takeaways and knowledge that students can gain from pursuing this course? Okay, um, we, uh, we talked before about the two methods. Okay, uh, the first one, the computer engineering, um, give uh, students uh, um, a deep insight okay. in uh, computer, in networks, mm. in uh, cybersecurity, okay. in uh, IoT, the Internet of Things, uh, okay. cloud computing, okay. and uh, mobile okay. educational development. Okay. Uh, and uh, so they will be a specialist mm -hmm. that are able able both to manage complex systems but okay. also to design completely new ones. Okay. Uh, the second master, so the one in artificial intelligence and data engineers, is more focused on the new techniques uh, uh, on artificial intelligence on the one side and on big data, um, secure, efficient storage okay. that is needed uh, for, uh, for artificial intelligence okay. on Instagram. Um, but both degrees um, form a computer engineer. I, I'm, I'm very yes, <laughs> proud to proud say, to say because uh, uh, even though there is a difference in specialization, uh, there is a, um, a common core okay. uh, that allow uh, graduated from both degree to uh, easy and quickly okay. learn new technologies, and new uh, approaches. Okay. Uh, this is another point that we, that we okay. uh, um, are likely to stress uh, during our lectures and during the, the master's okay. degree. You must be prepared to understand quickly okay. the new problem to describe and also uh, to talk with 
uh, other um, professionality. Okay. This is another interesting and qualified point okay. of a computer engineer. engineer. Um, it must be able to understand mm. okay. other problems other in problems. order to implement the yes. software okay. system that solve the problem. Okay. Thank you very much. So before you can actually solve a problem within the technology space, you need to understand the problem, just like uh, Professor was letting us know. Thank you. And our final question will be the job requirements, the career path that students can take after they have completed the course of um, computer engineering or artificial intelligence. Okay, a actually there's no problem because as we say, uh, our students, our graduates find a, a job in a negative time. So okay. even before, well before, in advance, um, before finish the, the degree. So uh, find a job is definitely not a problem. Okay. Um, what kind of job? Uh, more than 90% of uh, graduated students uh, find a job uh, in, uh, in their profession. Okay. I mean, in, they, they will do computer engineering. Okay. So, and this is very interesting because they uh, can do that uh, uh, not only in uh, software houses or um, companies uh, specialized in um, providing, producing the uh, computer products, okay. but also in, uh, in, in broader number of companies that uh, nowadays need to have inside uh, embedded experts in uh, computer engineering. So, great. great. In fact, there are a lot of job prospects if you are looking to apply to UNIP to study computer engineering or artificial intelligence. Okay, so thank you, Professor, very much for the opportunity and for joining us to share this knowledge with um, our international community and future prospective students who will want to apply to the University of Pisa. Thank you very much. It was an Okay, honor. thank you very much. Okay.